More ISS garbage. You know, I'm not in a damn good mood right now because it comes in waves. And I don't know. It's about, I guess people get blasted or high or whatever the fuck they're doing about this time of night. It's about 3 o'clock. Well, it's 3 or 2 in the morning here. So I'm on the East Coast. I'm actually in the demonic Washington, D.C. delivering them uh, organic beef and chicken. From some small little farm down in Georgia. But, yeah, I'm in this shithole place. But it's about this time I get popping up on my comments. So I get lured on my phone, I get comments. And most times I usually don't have time to look at it, but because I'm riding on the road and shit, doing other shit. But then I, I, when I do get time to look at the phone, it's just like one after the other, one after the other, man. You must, you're a retard, you're an inbred, you don't know what you're talking about, you're blah, 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 yeah, you know, all you people can go fuck off, fuck off. All you people go fuck off. I cannot give a fucking shit less about what you got to fucking say. I don't even read shit. What comes up on my phone gives me one or two, three sentences, well, not sentences, two or three words, basically, sometimes a sentence if your damn channel name's short, and, uh, if I know you're negative, I ain't going to read shit. I just don't give a fuck what you got to say. There's a few negative comments I read that seem that that will be rational and not talk shit. I hear them out. And I even respond. But all these, all these motherfuckers, man, that are just like children. Well, they are basically they are children. Just out here calling names and all the crazy fucking shit, right? Right, right, right. You got the wrong one, player. Because I don't give a fuck. I'm shooting you double birds. I'm talking California birds with the knuckles up, bitch. Because I don't give a shit about what you got to say. I don't fucking care. Look, hey, I can't make you start doing critical thinking. That's up to you, kid. And with all that said, I still don't hate you. I just don't give a fuck what you got to say because you are non-existent to me. You do not exist. Of course you exist as a person, but your opinion does not exist if you're not educated. You're not fucking educated. What you were was educated in that Masonic school where all you're doing is repeating the fucking drivel that they shoved down your fucking throat. And you're trying to get me to squat like a chicken like you. You understand? Because your Masonic Overlords taught you to squawk that way. Now you want me to fucking squawk the way you're fucking squawking. No, bitch. I walk talk like a man because I think like one. I'm capable of rational thought. All these little dudes on my damn shit, man, give me all kind of shit. Even us too, which I'm very disappointed in. That's fine. Don't want to break their, you know, their morality and their worldview of um, the, all their hopes clinging on that NASA will submit evolution. Okay. So that means that the, the do with our will motto of Arista Crowley will stick full force because that's the, the uh, basis of all new law according to the Masonic motto. And that's what all these new that's what all these new agers are buying. Hey that one dude that had a Bible, right? On his uh avatar. Tell me that I was a demon because I'm not forward thinking or some shit. I was like, what in the fuck is going on, man? You know, at that point, I I, I, I seriously thought to myself, I'm just gonna stop making videos because this people are just fucking gone. People are fucking gone. Out the fucking lunch. I mean, woo, chick, fucking gone downtown. I mean, Jizayama. All right, dude. Just because I don't believe there's motherfuckers in the tin can floating up there in magic space, and I question this shit, it brings it. It brings out the most nastiest motherfuckers you ever seen. I'm just pissed off, man, because I'm tired of seeing it. I mean, one, the other, the other, the other. Like, fucking damn, man. Those people have something else better to fucking do. 
And if they love NASA so motherfucking much, why they watching my shit? I'll state that again. If you love NASA so much, NASA Johnson, JPL channels are over the fuck there. Get the fuck stepping. I was like, dude, what the fuck, man? I got this young, I got this young lady named Molly that comments on my videos. She's a nice lady. This one dude, this piece of fucking trash, just giving her all kind of shit. You know, he come at me. I answered him back. He never answered me back because he claimed to be uh, from the Navy SEALs and all this shit. He's gonna call his Navy SEAL buddies out to come get to come get uh, this Molly chick's ass, right? I'm like, uh, well, I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? I was in the Navy. I spent time in Coronado Island, you know, where Bud's training is. I sailed across the Pacific and Indian Ocean with the SEAL team. I actually did some cover for them when they did beach landings in Somalia. So I was like, hey, well, you, hey, buddy, you send your Navy SEALs my way. I probably know a few of them motherfuckers if you for real. But you ain't for real. You some fucking 16-year-old in your mama's fucking basement, you know, who took time from jacking off to, to comment on my fucking channel, all right? You shut the fuck up and go the fuck away. I don't ban nobody. I said I would never do it. But that's the first motherfucker I got close to banning. I think I probably still will ban that motherfucker. Because the shit he was spewing out. And it, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. By the way, he called me a demon, too. <laughs> and I responded to him. And I responded with him. I responded to that fella being nice. Just being nice. I could show you all this shit, but I don't feel like flipping the phone and doing all that finding it shit. Because I'm at this point in the video I want to show you. And uh, I should have started by that. Sorry. Uh, I just kind of like hit record and I got it kind of just went off. And um, and I responded to him very nice and plainly, and I didn't call him any names or none of that shit. I just rashly had a little couple paragraph discussion. He never responded back to me. But all he wanted to do was cuss and bit, cuss, bitch, and rant at this Molly girl because it's just somebody cut, cuss, bitch, and rant at. That's all. These people ain't. A, they, they, and oh, by the way, all these NASA fanboys, you know, there's a few videos that I pulled down, which really, in hindsight, was not my fault. One of them was my fault, but. One of them on one of my Mars videos, about I was making a big stink about them saying the front dish of that uh, rover craft gets as hot as the sun. That's going to be Boykin's fucking fault, because that's what they kept fucking saying. Hot as, and I went back and even listened to that dude say it over and over again. Hot as the surface of the sun, 1600 degrees. Well, the sun is 5000 degrees. Well, you can say, well, the atmosphere around the sun is higher temperature than the surface itself. So are they are they stating to me that the surface of the sun is 1600 degrees? I need clarity on that. So it fucked me up. So I had to yank that fucking video down because all these, these NASA fanboys, oh, you don't know what you're talking about. Dear, dear, dear. How about you go fuck off, dude? Never mind the fact that little tiny tornadoes on Mars clean off your rovers, and that's why they've been going for 10 years. Never mind, let's, let's brush all over that shit. Like, that really fucking happens. But I get a calculation wrong, it is, and, it, and my videos has got to be trash. Go fuck you. You fuck off. You know. I told myself I was going to calm down these videos, too. I've been making an ass of myself here lately. So, I spent Sunday, I was going to make a video. I said, no, 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 don't make a video, man. Just chill out. Bide your time. I was going to do something else. It's actually on the ISS being able to see the entire planet, which is, that's what they're claiming now. Did you know that? They said, the ISS can see the entire planet. What? Then where's our fucking picture? You know, we got those Mars rovers on fucking Mars, right? That can take a selfie back to itself. Because it has 360 degree cameras, and they gotta do a touch of dip a dab and a lot of Photoshop, but it can happen. Cal gonna take me away, okay?
They'll defend the fucking. They'll defend one of them rovers taking a selfie of itself on the CGI Mars. Okay. All right. But now they're claiming that the eye says if you look out the cupola, you can see the entire planet. Okay, so where's our fucking picture of the planet Earth? If you got this capability and technology where you can take a selfie outside of the object that it's attached to, okay? You got that kind of camera technology to take a picture of a rover on Mars without the camera being attached to the motherfucking machine? Now how about you show me a fresh picture of the planet? Let's go. Why are we using Apollo whatever the fuck back from the 70s pictures of the fucking planet? Okay? Why? Last, I just looked this up. It's not tonight. We have 2,600 satellites, working satellites in orbit. The Russians have the most with like 1,100. We're bringing out the rear with like eight to nine hundred, right? But then we have a million of so-called space debris you know, flying around. Those are considered satellites in a technical term, okay? But they're non-usable, but they're man-made shit that comes off of rockets, supposedly, and it's going through the atmosphere and shit and all that. How about one of them satellites? Because they're in different orbits, right? Low orbit, high orbit, or some of them outside of the Ben Allen belt, supposedly. Yeah, because one went through the uh, the salt thing of moon from Saturn or some dumb shit that they were just fucking making off, making up off the top of the fucking head, and then have the graphic to show it. I mean, really? <sighs> you people buy anything if it's, if it's got N A S A written on that shit. You people will buy any fucking thing. You know, I took down my SpaceX video about the rocket landing on its ass. Right? Because people say that technology existed in the 90s. and da, 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 da. I don't give a damn if that technology existed. That shit actually work? I mean, if they if they can land a rocket and that technology has existed from the 90s, why didn't every fucking rocket landed that fucking way? And if we got that kind of technology where we can just strap rockets and the computers have the sensibilities and all these sensors and all this shit, right? Well, we should put that shit technology on every fucking thing. So therefore, nothing will ever hit the ground again. You see what I'm saying? Think about that. Why don't we put that shit on every damn jet plane? Oh, the both engines, both main engines go out? No bubbles, no troubles. We got the magic rockets that's going to straighten us out. Just like the SpaceX, the, the rockets do. Right? Right. We're going to land just fine, so chill out. So. Oh, yeah, I don't know why I went. Through. Yeah, I had to pull them a few bits down. Because, you know, I don't want to give the Nest fanboys any more fucking ammunition than they already got. Because they can just blindly just throw out insults without backing nothing up. Because they agree with the man, you understand? They stand with the, they stand with the new world order. You know, we're the old guard. We're going to be crushed. Because we don't sign some we're holding back humanity and shit. That's what this shit is turning into. You see what I mean? Yes, sir. And that's what I've been saying the whole time. That's why these nasty devils are up to this shit. Feeding you the demonic doctrines of evolution. That's right. That's what it's all about. It's a war on God. This is a spiritual war of good and evil. Good and evil principalities going at it in a realm which we cannot see. That's what this shit is all about. All these... NWO central bankers and these families they all answer to Satan they know that bitch is real alright the best thing Satan did was convince people that he wasn't real and that's all these nuts assholes all over my ass cause they don't believe in this shit right that's fine they're fine then I ain't worried about that in the meantime you're trying to do them a service they just fuck me good luck with that So where am I going? What the fuck am I even doing? Oh yeah, this this uh this this video right here. Let's go through this for for a little bit. Some uh, heating elements in it. 
when we could put a number of uh, different food packages in here. Basically, we just close it up and turn it on, and in about uh, 20 minutes, that uh, package of food will be warm. So next, I want to talk about our uh, how we add water both to our drink packages. Why is that thing flat like that and going back down? Huh? Packages. Shouldn't it flat up instead? Also done in the, in the laboratory module on the ceiling, and there's a uh, a uh, potable water dispenser there that dispenses both the uh, room temperature and, and hot water. So uh, let's go over there and check that out. So here we are by the. Uh, potable water dispenser which is on the, uh, the ceiling here in the laboratory module of the space station and uh, we uh, we get our water from different places uh, the resupply vehicles will bring up water the shuttle uh, makes water as a, uh, a function of how it produces electricity but we also get water from the, uh, the Russian uh, progress vehicles and sent from the Japanese and, uh, and the European uh, you see all the instrumentation, wires, and all that shit, and everything, right? All that donkey shit up in there, right? It's been up there since 1999, 2000. Somewhere around in there, there's been six people aboard on it. That's a full crew, like every fucking since. You know, times of there's not a full crew here and there, but and you're telling me there's not one speck of dirt or a smear or a stain or anything. And that's even a water station. There's no mildew. Nothing. Oh, you must have the best vacuum fucking filter cleaners and all that shit. Right, right, right. I saw Chris Hadfield cut his fucking toenails near one of those magical vents that you keep spouting off to me about because I always make, this, make the claim of how the fuck is this thing so clean? It's been up there for 16 fucking years with people living in that bitch for they can't go the fuck outside. They're always in it. You're telling me all this machinery they're fucking with, there's not a smear, there's not a food stain, there's nothing to do there at that place. It's always fucking perfect. This is M fucking possible. I'm sorry, dude. It's M fucking possible. Oh, but all these nasty motherfuckers will say, Oh, yeah, it is. Yeah, it is, man. You don't know what you're talking about. You're back with the country in Mississippi here looking all this shit. I think I fuck yourself. You have no rebuttal to this. You have no fucking rebuttal to this shit. None. And you know it. So save your fucking comments and shut them up, your ass. But anyway, um. So they clean. So they say they clean. They just clean a lot, man. You're not seeing they clean. They clean a lot. That's, they clean a lot, dumbass. Duh. Oh yeah. So they clean every wire, in and around every wire. That's what they're doing. Get the fuck out. That looks like Stephen Avery's fucking garage up in this shit. Anyway, um, he's at this water machine. Let this dude talk about this pot of water. The supply vehicles bring up water as well. The other way we get water is we make it uh, ourselves on board from the, uh, the condensate uh, that is produced in the air due to humidity. And, uh, how, does it, how does it, hold on, how does that fucking machine collect the condensation? How does that little square box you're sitting in front of collect the condensation? So you, where's your fucking magical condensation vents at, assholes? Where's your fucking magical condensation vents at? And where does that go? All right, you tell me that. How about that shit? Over, over. They got them. You just don't see it, man. You just don't see it. <laughs> don't poke holes in my belief system. And also, okay. right whatever. Um, and believe it or not, the water that is produced from her urine actually tastes better than any tap water I've ever tasted in the United States. All you people that believe in NASA, I got one question for you. If I take my happy ass up there and retrieve a bag of Scott Kelly's wonderful, uh, wonderful recycled piss bags of water and bring it back down here, you're going to tell me you would drink that motherfucking bag dry right in front of my face. Is that what you're telling me? Shut up. 
Sure, right? You'll do it. Yeah. And then I'll, I'll be laughing my ass off while you do. It's, uh, you know, better, tastes better than the water on the space shuttle. Uh, it's really uh, clear, uh, good quality uh, water. So, uh, basically, we have a way to fill these little packages uh, and introduce certain or specific volumes of both uh, hot and uh, and room temperature water. So I'll, I'll, I'll heat up this uh, little more rehydrate, this asparagus, and I basically just put it in here, and uh, normally don't do this from this position. Uh, and I'll put 50 milliliters of... Uh, he uses that bitch every day. How come he has so much trouble with that shit? And he says, I normally don't do this from this position. Well, what fucking position do you do it from? From behind? I mean, you're right in front of the fucking thing. So what position do you do it from? He has, he, he's, he's like, he never even used that fucking thing in his life. He's like, I don't normally do this from this position. You're right fucking, you're right in fucking front of it. So either way you're fucking lying, either one you're lying that you, you, you always use this thing, or number two you're lying that you don't use it from that position. Either or you're lying. Uh, hot water in there. You heat it up. And uh, as you can see it now has water in it and it's rehydrating and this will take uh, five to ten minutes. I'll put some uh, water into my drink bag. I'll put 250 milliliters of water in this drink bag for lemonade. What well, feeds that little box? Because that's a brand new water system they put up in there. Well, basically new, right? So who the fuck installed that? Hold on. Let's, let's go check that shit out. How urine will get us to Mars. That's the whole reason for that bullshit story. Look at these jerk bags right here. Is that Tim Pete in the middle with hair? Is that him? Astronauts drink water made from recycled urine and other wastewater aboard the International Space Station. A new system would turn pee into drinking water and produce energy. Every day you flush water. Yeah. If humans were ever going to Mars, we're going to get there drinking our own pee. Now scientists have built a recycling system that can turn astronauts urine into both clean drinking water and energy. That combine the combination could be an important step to making long distance space travel. That's why they have to do this. They know they have to get their story right, so they have to come out with this bullshit beforehand. Oh, we're gonna just drink our own piss. That's how we're gonna get to Mars. Shut up. Just shut up. It makes yesterday's coffee and today's coffee, said astronaut Don Petty. Who petite or whatever fuck said when it was installed, which watch astronaut Chris Hatfield demonstrate the water recycling system. Oh, we will be watching that video. Before the space station, excuse me, man, my eyes are really fucked up. I'm doing this on my phone, so it's even worse. I gotta get stronger reading glasses. Before the space station, space travelers really didn't take advantage of B. The Russian mirror craft, I got a video I got to do about that Russian mirror because they had an accident and actually knocked them and spun them around in orbit. It was almost a disaster, but they saved themselves. Isn't that amazing? Craft had a recycling system that accepted urine but was notoriously glitchy and didn't produce uh, much drinkable water. The space shuttles jettisoned urine and created, uh, creating lovely shooting stars of liquid Waste visible from Earth, but they they store solid waste, which have been made for really frightening form of space junk. Right, right. Haha, so fun.
So they're just up there pissing on us, right? Supposedly. With their, you know, comic shots of urine streaming all over the planet. Supposedly. Last night's report that the water made from recycled urine into the space station tastes great, but the system keeps breaking down, and it takes a lot of power to run it. The system requires several consumables, and filtered components are discarded, says analytical chemist Eduardo Nicola. Whoa. The University of Puerto Rico co-author of the new study, the concept of the system he and his colleagues have come up with is not only remove urea from wastewater, but also generate valuable components from human waste instead of discarding them. The new system also generates electricity. Scientists from NASA and the University of Puerto Rico report May 12 Sustainable Chemistry and Engineering is a clever setup, chemically speaking, to put to pull pure water out of urine. The system uses forward osmosis, which, as the name implies, works the opposite direction of reverse osmosis found at many kitchen sinks. Forward osmosis uses a concentrated salt or sugar solution. We almost have shit tons of that, right? Concentrated salt or sugar solutions to draw the water out of the urine. Next, enzymes in a bioreactor convert the leftover urea to ammonia, which feeds into an electrical, electrical, electrochemical cell that uses the ammonia to generate electricity. You cannot be getting much out of that. There is no shortage of raw materials, so and then, they, then they claim you piss out about a shitload more than you drink in. All the pee ends up being one of the biggest obstacles to sending humans on Mars or any other long term space travel. Without your recycle, water could make up 80 to 90% of the mass of spaceships get humans to Mars. But when they say that the cost would and the cost will be up to uh, 10,000 per pound launched into orbit, shooting tons of water into space. Will become expensive. Any recycling system that. No, 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 because they got to show you that they can create water, you know, out of their own. out of their own body's water, right? Out of their own body's waste to create water is because uh, they're just sitting. They're just setting the tone from when they do put some asshole on a space rocket to go way the fuck out there and to live on Mars and all that shit. Then they already got their story set. Oh, yeah, we've been doing that for years. Right. Right. 93% of the water on board, a level that uh, the new system will still be a, just a prototype, but it recovers more than 90% of the total water that goes in it. But it only generating a tiny trickle of electricity so far. That's what I'm saying. They ain't gonna generate no shit with electricity. What the fuck they're talking about? We're using some breathable oxygen from the cabin, says, so the system will require backup oxygen generation. That could mean making oxygen from water via electrosis or using other chemical processes to make it. And that means another life support system that can break ultimately, we have to find a way not to use oxygen at all. Uh, I don't know what the fuck, you know. But where was that at? Average person on Earth uses 350 liters of water a day. That's over 1,400 cups of water. Water consumption is. There's not one dude on this fucking planet I cannot stand more than this asshole right here. That big headed, small body, dick bag, Chris Hatfield. He's just a. I mean.
Have you ever had the empathy for the devil? Sympathy for the devil? Whatever. For some reason, Scott Kelly, he, uh, he's a douchebag too, but I kind of feel sorry for Scott Kelly for some reason. But this douchebag right here, I don't feel sorry for him at all. Fuck this guy. And don't ask me why you even feel sorry for Scott Kelly. I don't know. I've watched so many videos, I guess. There's, I've seen moments of somewhat of inklings of humanity in Scott Kelly, believe it or not. But I know he's full of fucking shit. But this jacked off is complete horseshit. I cannot stand fucking Chris Hatfield. Uh, Canada, y'all yeah, can keep that motherfucker, okay? You got me? Critical of Earth, but even more so here on the International Space Station. Look at him. He, he loves being in front of that fucking camera. Where we have a closed environment. From washing ourselves to making our coffee, or even when we sweat, the water that gets expelled is collected into a purification system. And we reclaim about 93% of all the water on board. Definite. So tell me how the fuck you reclaim 93% of all water on board. Where's the other 7% go? And, and, and the, how does your fucking sweat, what, you wring it out of your clothes? Or, because you say water in the atmosphere. So how the fuck is the water in the atmosphere just being dumped in some tank somewhere? You, you tell me that's possible? Oh, because, oh, I forgot. Your magic filtration system that discovered every motherfucking thing on the planet. Holy shit. I got it, asshole, NASA loving motherfuckers. God. With your fucking filtration systems. Holy fucking shit already. Soapy water here in space. Mix it up. Yeah, yeah, never mind all that fucking water just go flying the fuck off. You know, never mind that shit, because, you know, we still won't have no water stains on the walls or nothing like that, don't we? It'll be fucking pristine. Look at everything, how fucking clean every fucking thing is. All the time. Never mind, it's been there 16 fucking years. That one little yellow tube you saw them hold up, they've been pissing in that bitch for 16 fucking years. That's gotta be fucking disgusting. And shit in that little hole... Really? And, uh, men and women have to use the same fucking contraption. Yeah, right. Oh, uh, no! No! It's sciencey, man! It's sciencey! It's for real! Because it's sciencey! Eat a dick, all of y'all! That's on the outside of Water used to be delivered in water. You see why I hate that bitch? You see why I hate that dude? He's just a ham. This guy's a total fucking stinkers up here. Built bags like this one. We brought him up on uh, on space shuttles and, of course, all of the visiting resupply vehicles. But since 2010, we've got a system on board. Look how clean that bitch is, dude. Like I said, look at all the instrumentation. Look at every nook and cranny all over it. There ain't there's, it looks like they just took it right out of the wrapper. Right out of the cellophane box that came in or wherever the fuck it come in. And this is where they prep their food. But yeah, I'm an asshole. I'm an asshole for saying why is it so fucking just immaculately clean all the fucking time. It's just impossible. That can purify the water real time. You don't have to take it out and store it in bags. We have filters and a keg-sized distiller that spins... Okay, okay. You have filters and a keg size storage that spins. Where's the keg size? Where's the keg size storage that spins? Where's it at? Because I'm looking at the back of this motherfucker. I see a couple of canisters, which are somewhat decent size, I guess. Probably could hold. Because uh, that's a handle right there. That's where a hand would go. Up to the top left on the side there. That's a handle. So I'm probably saying you can probably put like a two liters worth, maybe two liters even fit in those couple of canisters. That one down at the bottom right. That one in the middle of the picture by the play button. What's the rest of the shit do? Okay. So what's feeding this thing?
Okay? So how is it collecting the water from the atmosphere? Okay? So how is it getting your piss in there? Okay? Well, you got uh, you got some kind of tubes you hook to the fucking thing that goes from some other magical tank that is getting sucked out through the ventilation, the magical fucking ventilation system, which takes care of everything according to all you NASA fucking assholes out there. Which is a lot of fucking horse shit. To create artificial gravity and move the wastewater along. And with it... Hold on. It's got reverse osmosis. It spins. And creates his own gravity. Okay? It's like the Gravitron. They should call it the, gra the urinating Gravitron. Okay? He creates his own gravity. And what the fuck else is he saying? We can recycle about 6,000 liters of extra water for the station each year. We even recycle... Oh, man. What's he talking about? Gravity and move the waste... All right, what the fuck he's pointing at? You see, you see why I don't like this asshole? You see why I don't like this old devil bastard here, man? Look at him. Smug ass. I can't stand this dude. All right. Okay. I got a simple question. Who the fuck installed that? You astronauts knew how to install that shit? Don't just install that shit just on the fly. It just showed up on one of their supply rockets. And you just popped it in there and plugged it in and you're ready to go. It's automatically collecting moisture out of the air and you're pissing shit and you're just drinking it up and loving life. Water along. And with it, we can recycle about 6,000 liters of extra water for the station each year. We even recycle our urine. Yeah. But before you cringe at the thought of drinking your leftover wash water and your leftover urine, keep in mind that the water that we end up with is pure. Women and men use the same contraption. So women have to hold that. I hate to get crass, ladies, if any of the ladies are watching this. You know how you have to position that to discharge your urine flow. You don't think there'll be access from time to time and you really have to go. But there's no stains on the walls there either, so I guess everybody's just spooky spray. I don't know what kind of cleaning they just they got in that motherfucker, but they need to damn sell that shit. And their Mylar umbrellas, by the way, which blocks 5,000 degrees of sun. You know, if you had one of their Mylar umbrellas that they put on Skyland, hell, and put up in your backyard, I don't give a fuck if you live in down south Georgia, out in the desert of Arizona, or wherever the fuck it gets hot as shit, on the equator, wouldn't matter. You get up under there, one of, you get up under the, one of their magic Mylar umbrellas, you know, potato chip bags and get well soon balloons, just sew that shit all up together. Shit, man, you might have to put on a parka coat, because it might get fucking ice cold up in that motherfucker. You understand what I'm saying? Because it kept the sky lab going. Minus a few solar panels. Minus a few solar panels. But who the fuck needs that? Right? So men and women both piss in the same nozzle. Come on, NASA lovers. Comment on that shit. You comment on that shit, you NASA fucking assholes out there. You tell me how this is going down. And most of the water that you drink on a daily basis at home. That makes the International Space Station its own self-contained environment. That's a critical step towards living for long periods off of planet Earth. Keep in mind, you see that view? You see that view right there? They say they can go to Coppola and see the entire world at one time. All the way around it. But yet, we don't have a picture. How many years has that motherfucker been up there? Not one picture. Not one complete picture of the Earth. Come on, NASA lovers. I ain't waiting on your comments. I'm fucking waiting on it. Think I'm going to respond? You think I'm going to read it? Nope. The only reason I do see it pop up in my face every now and then is because it pops on my damn phone.
I'm pretty sure there's a sitting on his phone I can get rid of that too. Then I'll never see it. Then you can go fuck yourself. All right, because I don't give a shit what you got to say. Because you got no defense and none of my shit I bring up. Your ass ain't got no defense. All right. I wanted to make this video about that, but it ended up being me ranting about just these nasty motherfuckers all over my damn channel. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I got really class in this video. Whatever, I'll put it up. Fuck it. All right, peace, Joe.